Now, uh, in this particular session, I will just open up the content which we are going to cover basically. We would be covering how to install, or rather I would say not install, but basically how to set up your Canva environment. Okay, so basically it is online. So you will have to have uh, one of your Gmail accounts basically, which you can use for, you know, logging into your Canva account. And you can also work as a free user, but I will also show you because I have a pro account uh, created. So I will show you using the pro account itself, but you can e easily uh, work on the basics of Canva using the free account as well. Okay, it is not necessary that every one of you should have the pro account. Now, after that, we would understand the Canva environment. So here, basically, we would be understanding different parts which are available once you log into the Canva account, how you can create, how you can modify, how you can add certain elements and everything. And we will also understand different designs which we can create. Like if I have to give an example, we can create some Instagram post, we can create some uh, Instagram reels, some Facebook post, LinkedIn post, YouTube videos, or some presentations for that matter, creating some simple logos. So any kind of customized post which you want to create or design which you want to create. So what are the different types of designs which we can create in this? Then we will move on to creating video in Canva. You basically will understand what is the timeline, how can we add a separate audio to it, how can we edit a existing video, how can we animate certain videos, also how can we create it as a recording screen. Like over here, you can see my screen, I am showing you something. So showing like this to some users, how can we create some sorts of videos in that. Then we will move on to more in designing in canvas where we'll select some correct template which are available inbuilt in canvas. Now again here, if you're using a free account, you will have some limited templates which you can use. Pro accounts has maximum all the uh, templates which they can basically use in the pro account, okay? Then how can you change some customized backgrounds, creating some custom dimensions of your post, uploading images which are not like which you need as a designer to be added into your post or something. How can you create some charts, saving your designs and everything? We'll move ahead by adding or editing some text into Canva. We'll again see making some backgrounds into it. What is the different kind of Canva toolkit which are available? We'll know more about the text alignments part and everything. How can you save the particular uh, design which you have created in a PDF? and also some various filters which you can apply on photos, okay? Then we will move across creating presentations like PPTs, okay? Normally we have Windows PowerPoint which we can use, but if you use it in Canva, you can make it more creative, okay? So we'll see that, we'll see different types of presentations which you can create in Canva. How can you edit a particular presentation and how can you create some sample presentations over here? Then we will move on to creating various social media designs, which includes the Instagram post, story, reel, or a Facebook post. We'll also move ahead and we'll see creating a logo, certificate, creating some brochure, creating some photo collage, and creating a business card. Create your account into Canva. So now here, as I have told you, I'm having a pro account, which I'm using it. So I have all the access to all the templates, photos, or you can say any other element which I want to add in my Canva design, okay? But for you or as a free user, okay? I'll just show you. I will open another window where in here I have created another account in Canva. Now this is a free account. It is not poor. You can see here, I can see this is a free account, okay? So it will ask me to go for Canva Pro if you're registered as a free user, but it is not necessary if you're just learning how to create designs in Canva. If you are a professional and you want to create designs every day by using some various options available in Canva, then it is preferable that you go for the Pro version, not otherwise needed. For studying purpose or learning purpose, free account is sufficient enough, okay? So over here, if you can see, I am explaining to you over here in both the free as well as the pro versions, okay? So this is, you have here the home tab, which is nothing but your 
a main screen which will be displayed once you log into canva okay now wherein over here you can see you have various kinds of designs which you can create okay like you have as i have told you presentations in that also creating presentations in various ways are available going ahead to social media you have here some popular categories given or you have the instagram which has instagram post story ads reels animated post or a story ad similarly in facebook you have facebook post a cover page ad event cover video similarly story app shop ads so like everything maximum things which you need to post on facebook or instagram are all available over here okay similarly you have some templates available over here which you can create like your whatsapp status also you can just go on see all and you can just see all the available templates which you can use you can see here how many templates are available it's a huge amount okay which can basically be useful for you to creating any sort of post or any sort of design which you need to create it okay then if you move across you can create videos as i have told you videos also you can create customizable for facebook or a normal video a video message mobile video youtube video so you have basically customization sizes available for each and every category similarly if you go ahead you can go for the marketing wherein you have say a poster you have a logo you have a flyer a business card a label and many more things which are basically used for marketing purposes okay if you go on for office then here you can create your resume and in any a4 document any report which you want to create for a presentations or something planner creating some letters letter head graphic organizing invoices and all so all these are various categories which we can create using canva similarly if you go for more you have all the other options which are available like even creating a desktop wallpaper graph a book cover a photo collage and many more things okay now these all options which are there over here you can also go if you click on create design you will find all of them over here but not specific into some categories suppose i want to search here i can search i want to go for instagram so if i type in as and as how i'm typing i'll get the related post available over here or i go for facebook so you see as i'm typing i'm getting the available designs similarly let's say youtube so i have specifically for youtube so it is not that i have to click here only and i have to search i can also search the content over here one option directly go here and go for the particular design or go for create design search here and you can just search whatever is required by you because see for everything now suppose i go for say post okay now post can be my instagram or facebook but you can see here you have the size displayed the size is different for a facebook post it is 940 into 788 for instagram post it is 1080 into 1080 similarly if you see a linkedin post it is 1200 into 1200 because you know that if you created in that particular uh, width and height it would be displayed correctly whenever you are posting on some social medias so it is always preferable that you create it using the given categories as such okay now this was on your basic home tab which is available now if you go to your project okay you could see here any projects or any designs which you have created now i will just show you my pro account okay here see whatever projects on designs whatever you create all gets saved by default over here so any images you have uploaded any videos you have created all those things get stored automatically under your project account so now currently here i have not created anything i have just created this free account to show you how you can basically go go about creating it so like for example log out this okay yeah so like once you come here for canva you have to first of all go for sign up okay and once you go here you can click on continue with google and then you have to enter your basically gmail address and then it will log in as a gmail user now since i already have an account created i'll go for the login account continue with google i have this gmail account which i am using 
So I have selected that as my password is by default saved. It didn't ask me, but it will ask you at your PC for at least once for the first time when you're doing it. And then you can just log into your Canva account. So that is basically you will by default be logging into as a free account. Okay. Free user only. Fine. So that was about your home. Once you do the login about the create design panel. Now this is about the trainer, some account settings. Like here, you can just go and check out the name, the address, email address, what is associated with it. You can change the theme, which is currently available. Okay. Also, you have a desktop app for this, which you can basically use if you wish to work on a desktop, but it is not uh, preferably used because we have everything which you can create and we can save it on cloud. So then why should we again install a desktop app for that? Okay. So it's not necessarily uh, useful for creating, but yes, if you want, you can go ahead and create that. Okay. Similarly here, you have some settings of your accounts again, as you can go here, or you can directly go for this settings options. You again, click on this main logo. You come back to the home page, which is the uh, after login page of your Canva account. Okay. So we have seen about the projects option, which are available. Similarly, you have some templates option available over here. As I have told you that Canva has a lot of free templates also, which you can use. So it is not necessary for you as a learner to go for a pro account directly. So whichever template you may like, you can use that and you can start creating your Canva design at one go. Okay. So these are all various categories of templates which are available. So anything for social media, let's look at for some Instagram post. So see some your default posts are there, which you can basically click and you can edit certain things. You can change the color, add some more you know, images or elements into it and make it more attractive and then use it as your own Instagram post basically. Okay. So like that, you have all the given accounts over here, all the various themes account. I can see here price, you know, some are available only for free. So if you click on free, only the free ones would be displayed to you. If you click both, both would be displayed. So as I have a pro account, I can go for both. If you're using a free account, just click on the free one and search for a particular design there. So it was about your template. Now shared with you is basically if you are working with a team, okay, say you have a pro account, okay, and you are adding some two to three members in your own team. And basically you can, you know, share the design. Like suppose I'm creating a Instagram post for some upcoming live classes, for example. So I want to share it with some of my subordinates also because we can just, uh, I can also make them modify the design so they can add some elements into it. They can, add, they can modify some colors, some designs to it. And then basically we can just go ahead and fa like finalize a particular design there. So that is where you will have to share with, you will be helpful for you, okay? So basically as a user, you will have to share your designs in your team. But then over here, if you are going, you will have to create a team over here. Okay. So create a team. You can also create it over here. You will have to enter the email addresses and go for create team. So then those many users can join you. And basically you can go ahead by creating your own team and designing with your team there. Okay. Now this trash is basically any design which you create and you have deleted that would be so like uh, stored temporarily in the trash folder. If you delete it from here also, it is gone. It's simply like we have the trash folder in our Gmail accounts also. It is same as that, okay? This is about your create team. As I have told you, you can give any team name you wish to and then enter the email addresses. Go for create team. Those all email addresses will receive an email regarding Canva that you have been added as a team member to the particular given team name. And then once they accept it, they go for their account creation. Like you, you may also have, as I'm having a pro account, I can invite somebody who is a free user also. It's also possible, okay? It's not that everyone should have a pro account itself. So that is about your creating team. Then you have, now you can see this brand kit and content planner. These are only available for pro users. It is not available for all, for the free users as such. So basically I can, as I have a pro account, I can basically add my brand logos over here. I can add some specific brand colors, some specific brand fonts, which, you know, basically I'm keeping this as a master template. Whenever I want to use it in my design, like I want to use my logos, I can just keep it added whenever I want, just drag it and add it into my designs. So every time I don't have to upload it or save it somewhere. Similarly for colors, I want to have some specific brand color. 
like suppose now i'll go to my uh, pro account see over here i'm having this now see this is available for me to add because i am having a pro account over here so i can add some brand colors i can add some fonts over here which i have already added also some logos i can add it and i can keep it for my designs to be ready okay so i can uh, i'll like create this as my brand kit so something which you want to add it multiple times or maybe on every design you want to add it keep it added into your brand kit over here similarly you have the content planner like here i can go on adding some different like suppose for today i want to add an instagram post on upcoming live classes so i can just add that over here so those team members who are there in my team they can also be visibly uh, like they, they it will also be visible to them so that, you know we can just have an event or the content planning done in advance so even these two are available for your uh, pro users not for all okay then you have some smart mocks up basically you can take it like on some different technologies available or you can you know create your designs and take up some mock over here like how they basically look like on your different options available given over here so all these things are basically available when you first of all go for creating your account so here i have created a team as i have told you so anything in the in the team i have to i can also invite more members or i can share inside a particular given team as well okay now if you just look at over here you have some uh, options available here also like for office you have the presentations the whiteboards graphs pdfs and everything again for social media the videos photos like suppose you have to edit only a video or a photo simple even those can be done some for marketing some for custom printing so all those things are also available over here the same things which are available when you go for create design option 